Now at 4.30, some school districts are seeing a host of issues after returning to in-person learning. The school district in New Britain says it's dealing with an uptick in fights and vandalism, and several schools across the state have seen issues with a new TikTok challenge that has kids destroying or even stealing school property. So what could be fueling this? Joining me to talk more about this is Dr. Laura Saunders, a child psychologist with Hartford Hospitals. Dr. Saunders, always appreciate you being with us. Thank you, Aaron. So obviously this is a big change for so many kids. They spent the last year at home. Now this fall, they are finally back to in-person learning, but it can be quite of an adjustment. Is that what you think is fueling this vandalism and violence and even potentially anxiety? So this is a confluence of several different issues. I think adjustment is a good place to start. This is an adjustment in expectations, right? Kids are in school. They're supposed to be wearing masks, but they're in school. They need to be following the rules and the guidelines. They're, we're back to the structure. And with that, that institution of structure, again, there's always some kind of rebellion. So it's a matter of sort of staying the course. I do think that it also taps into the issue of judgment, which we know is often lacking in adolescence, right? They test the limits. Their judgment's not good. They don't think things through. And, you know, the, these TikTok challenges are a classic example of poor judgment. Just following based on some arbitrary, you know, video or set of videos or, or you know, other kids telling you what to do, um, and it's their social competence. I want to fit in, therefore I'm going to do something sort of bizarre and random so I can fit in. From talking to moms and dads in the community, I've heard a lot about their kids struggling in September and the start of the school year. What are you seeing or noticing in the young people you work with in particular? Again, I come back to the issue of adjustment, that that there is um, expectations being put on these kids. I really get concerned that actually a lot of them are feeling inadequate. They realize that there's gaps in what they have. They're looking to their peers. No one's saying, you know, anything. So they're they're fearing that they're inadequate, and then they're acting out as a distraction to what's really going on. So I think it's about trying to get to the bottom of the matter, deal with some of the core issues. They need limits set. They need structure. They will settle in. It's a matter of sort of staying strong, um, but also addressing some of the underlying issues around anxiety due to gaps in their knowledge because many kids don't learn via remote and virtual learning. It makes a whole lot of sense. Dr. Laura Saunders, we always appreciate your expertise and for calming us down during these very uh, hard times. So thank you for that. We appreciate it. Take care, Aaron. You as well.